Hey everybody and welcome back to Nancy Drew Warnings at Waverly Academy. We're here in our room right now having just finished talking to um, Corrine, or is it Corinne or Corrine? I think it's Corinne. Um, and doing this orthographic views thing for her. And now I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures of Mel and Rachel. How about that? This door's not locked. I think Izzy's is the only one that's not locked. Becca the new girl, what's going on? Hey, what's up, Mel? Um, so, oh, we can talk to her about all the other kids here. And, um, and then we can ask her about the, uh, the picture. Do you hang out with Izzy much? I don't hang out with her at all. Good. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. Yes! Thank you! How can she be vacuous and be a valedictorian candidate? You tell me, and we'll both know. I don't know. I get the impression that Izzy is the type of person that, like, knows how to succeed at all the right things just to get noticed. Because, you know, there's, like, a clear set of, oh, yeah, this is what you can do to succeed sorts of guidelines there. But if she were out in the real world with no real direction like that, she'd probably fall flat on her face. Are you friends with Leela? No. Although I used to be. Oh? Of course. That was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning and school spirit. Stuff I just find... Boring? Pathetic. Oh. That's a bit of a stronger word than boring. Do you think she's smart? Extremely. Which, to me, makes her descent into jockdom even sadder. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm not a jock, so uh, I can kind of empathize with what Mel was saying. But still, that's kind of a little mean, though. Do most kids like her? I'm not a fan, but everyone else? You bet. How well do you know Rachel? Not well. We don't hang out. Man, nobody likes Rachel. How come? We have nothing in common. Plus, there's something about her that's a little... off. Yeah, everybody keeps mentioning that. What do you mean by off? She's just a little strange. And not in a genius sort of way, either. In fact... When it comes to being valedictorian, it's a mystery how she ever made it this far. Hmm. I called Megan Vargas. Yeah? How is she? I can think of how she made it this far. She probably got tons of kids to do her homework for her. Haven't you talked to her? No. We're not very close. Any particular reason why? We're just not. That's all. Okay. Who do you think the black cat is? Is he? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. Yay! Score another one for Izzy. What makes it so obvious? Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian, and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. It's funny, because that's kind of like the exact opposite of what Izzy said. She was like, I will get valedictorian because I deserve to be valedictorian. You know when someone says that, that they, they're really just trying to compensate for their own knowledge that they're not really, you know, they're, they're not really cut out for it. I need to take a close-up of you for a page on the school website I'm helping put up. The school wants my picture on its website? Groovy. Blast away. Groovy. Uh, there we go. Do you by any chance have a library book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? The one that's missing from the library? Sure don't. I've never been much into Edgar. He's a little over the top, even for me. Yeah, I could kind of uh, agree with that. I'll let you get back to your music. Drop in any time. Oh, I will. If You are my favorite character in the game. You are really cool. Alright, uh, let's go and visit uh, Rachel, because we need to get her picture, too. I'm here. Someone didn't lock their door. Oh, what do we got here? Uh oh. Lila's not gonna like that. Izzy has date for Oxbro Bash with Lila's boyfriend. Oops, make that ex boyfriend. Wow. So, wait, the boys' school gets shortened to Oxbro. I like that. Hi. Hey. Hi. I'm Becca Sawyer. Remember? Sorry, I totally blanked on your name. You get all the pictures uploaded? Not yet. For one thing, I need to take a picture of you. 
Oh, right. Let's do it. Alrighty. I feel like we need to be taking these pictures in places that are not bedrooms. So what's fab? Listen, be sure to let me know when you get all the pictures uploaded, okay? Like I feel like we need to go outside and do this. Like this is really weird. with Danielle Hayes' picture? No, but her name's been scratched off, so that's what I figured. Sorry. My mind is going all this paper writing, which I kind of need to get back to. All right. I'll go so you can get back to work. Bye. Oh, one more question. Who do you think the black cat is? I haven't gotten any notes, so I don't know and I don't really care. See ya. Hmm, you haven't gotten any notes, huh? Well, that's suspicious. So we can't look at anything else here in the room? I guess we can't. I mean, it'd be pretty weird to do that with her here, but... That hasn't stopped us from doing it with other people. And one thing I forgot to do before is to go check out uh, Paige's door. She's the... Uh, the authority figure here. Locked. Aww. Sorry, I don't want to be disturbed right now. <laughs> I like how she didn't respond to us trying to open it. Oh, we can go to the, a bathroom over here. That's nice. We got two cuckoo bathrooms. Fruit. Yeah, cuckoo want fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Let's see what time is it? Three fifty-one. Okay. Um. We know we definitely do not want to pull the fire alarms, because we'll get demerits for that. Um, does Leela have the picture? Let's check with her. It's only fair to warn you. I'm not in a very good mood right now. Oh? Because of Izzy and your boyfriend? Of course because of Izzy and my boyfriend. How could she do it? Did she think I wouldn't mind if she started dating Jacob? Did she think I wouldn't find out? My gosh, it's all over school. How's it going to work out with you and she being roommates? That's like really awkward. You had no idea Izzy was interested in him? I'm not stupid. I could tell he was on her radar. The way she'd look at him and flirt her brains out with him. I just never figured she'd actually make a move on him while he was still dating me. <coughs> I mean, who does that to their own roommate? Exactly. Have you confronted her yet? No. And you know what? I don't think I will. I'm just going to act like nothing's wrong. If she's got the guts to bring up the subject, fine. But I'm not going to say a word. I'm going to let her wonder just how and when I'm going to get back at her. Mm. Because I will definitely get back at her. Whoa. In the meantime, I'm just going to shake it off and get back in the game. What's up, girl? I don't know if stewing on conflict like this is necessarily the healthiest idea, but hey, it's your life. Did you get that picture of Megan for me? I've got it right here, but the only way you're going to get it from me is by beating me at Scram. What do you say? Oh, another game. All right, let's do it. Same as before. Bring it on. Excellent. Okay. Each game has two rounds. You play one round as the blocker and the other round as the scorer, and you take turns throwing the darts. <clears throat> First, the blocker throws three darts, then the scorer throws three darts, and so on. Now... The object of the game is for the blocker to end the round by landing a dart in any section of all 20 numbers, while the object of the game for the score is, naturally, to accumulate as many points as possible before the round ends. I assume that hitting the bullseye is worth 50 points and hitting the ring outside it is worth 25? That's right. Once all the numbers are blocked, the rolls are reversed and you play another round. After two rounds, whoever has accumulated the most points wins. Just like in regular darts, the harder the section of any number is to hit, the more points you get. So, you ready? I'm ready. Game on. So, in this round, you're the blocker, and you're going to try oh, yeah. to hit the high number so Aww. they get crossed off the score list. I think I got it. Okay, so now it's my turn to throw, and I get to score. Guess okay. I better go for the high numbers before you take them out. All right, let's do this. Uh, okay, so we got 25. That's good. So we just need to get in that bullseye. Come on. So we cannot... Oh, wait, no, we can get 25 as long as it's not blocked. I forgot how this game worked. Come on, get up there. Come on. Yeah. Another 25. Let's do one more and get it in the middle. Yes! Okay, so this time... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, she's still the blocker. 
Okay, we can still get bullseyes. Um, we can't get the outside ring, though. That's going to be bad. Eh, is it worth the risk? I'm just wondering. I yes! Did it. Good. Yes! Awesome. Okay, let's do one more. Come on, Nancy. You gotta have a steady hand here. Oopsie. Oops. Gosh, I'm good. No! Gosh, I'm good. Nailed it! Alright, so we gotta get all 17s, basically. Do you get more points for hitting the inside? I did it! Let's see here. Hang on. Bingo! Okay, it doesn't seem like you do. All right. Cool. All right, one last oh, round. Okay, yeah. she's missing. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. So now let's get 16s. Okay, can we try getting in there? Let's let's just see again. Ah, man, okay. Wait, how many rounds are there? I thought there were only three. Okay, she missed all of those, so we can continue getting 16s. Oh, you do get more points for getting in there. Okay, good to know. Okay, that's... That kind of changes some stuff. Yes. Gosh, I'm good. Okay, so we need to go for 14 now. All right, let's try to get inside there again. Come on, get in the. Stop moving around so much. All right. Yes. Okay. I did it. Oh man, not quite. Okay, at least we made all of those. That's that's nice. Gosh, I'm good. Yeah, we know you're good. Oh, wait, does it keep going until all the numbers are blocked? Maybe that's how it works. I did it! That works. Okay. Come on, let's get at least one that's multiple. Ah, never mind. Blew that. Wait, you didn't make that? Nailed it! Oh, now you made that. Okay, so now we gotta go to six. Where's six? Here we go. Maybe it's like double points if it's on that one and then triple points on this one. I think that's how it how it works. Missed. Aw. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Is she gonna block all of them? Gosh, I'm good. Okay, and. I'm it. This round. Okay, so she's got to beat 506. All right. First of all, let's cut off the bullseye. All right. Okay, and then let's cut off this. Darn. Aw. Let's at least try going up here. So if we at least if we miss, we'll get twenty. I did it. Okay. Gosh, I'm good. Oh, she got a triple pointer. Nailed it. Okay, we've got to watch out for that. Okay, right. good. That's out. Okay, now we can just go through all the numbers. That works. And then 18 is up here. Oh, we got one. Oh yeah. Oh man. We are we're hosed. I don't think we're gonna get this. Nailed it. Okay, let's get 18. Come on, 18. Bingo. Okay, and then 17. And then 16, where's that? That's over here. Okay, good. That was a, the best round we could have had. Oh, she got a triple. Oh, baby, a triple. Okay, let's do 15 now. Bingo! And then 14 is over here. Good. Seems like a little higher than the point where you're that throwing works. it. Or at least where the, it looks like the yes. tip is. 
Okay, I th maybe this is doable. Let's see. Come on. There we go. 12, 11 is over here. That works. And then 10. Okay. Okay, all the double digits are gone. That's nice. Nailed it. Okay, I don't think she can get us now. Oh, yeah. Not unless she was like super good at it with every shot. Bingo. Okay, nine, eight. That works. Seven. Okay. I did it. Nice. Oh All yeah. Right, six. Ooh, she got a triple. Okay, so let's do six and five. Where's five? There it is. Come on, five. Here, five e five e. Four? Okay. Just two oh, more yeah. numbers. We can eat, we can afford to miss one here with this last bit. Blew that. Okay. Three did it. and two. Nuts, you beat me. Yeah. Here's the photo of Megan you wanted. Awesome. Great. Looks like I'll have to take a picture of a picture. Oh, I hate doing that. Okay. This is kind of a little awkward because for whatever reason, the game. Like, if you try to zoom in and fit it perfectly, it's going to say, oh, it's too close. So you actually do have to do it like this, which is so weird. Um, I'm going to just see if this is acceptable. It's really All fiddly. You can keep it. Thanks. Want to play again? Uh, no, thanks. No, thanks. Need anything else? Ooh, we can talk to her about her scholarship. Is it true you're here on a scholarship? That's right. Athletic. Full ride. Although, I have to maintain a pretty high grade point average in order to keep it. Luckily for me, that's not a problem. So it's okay if you aren't the valedictorian? It'd be okay with the school, but it sure wouldn't be okay with me. No matter what I'm competing in, I always play to win. The nice thing is, I usually do. What would happen if you got injured and couldn't play sports for the rest of the year? They'd probably pull my scholarship, so not only would I not be valedictorian, I wouldn't even be able to graduate, which would really shoot holes in my future. So if I get injured again, and I find out it's this black cat person's fault, believe me, she's going to wind up injured too. Ooh. I'll check back with you later. Okie dokie. Man, Lilo doesn't take anything lying down. Alright, um, oh, another text. The is still rules double take. Oh no, we have to beat her score if we want to get back on top. Guys, oh, should we do it? I, I need to look at the leaderboard, because I feel like we were really lucky the last time we did it. Um, can we talk to her about that? Let's see. How's it going? Oh, we can talk to her about the Izzy situation, or the Leela situation. I guess this is the Izzy situation. Look at her, look at her, she just looks so mean. What's this about your stealing Leela's boyfriend? The guy asked me to Oxbro's holiday bash, and I said yes. Big whoop. You didn't have a steady boyfriend already? Not as far as I was concerned. Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. I know how conceited that sounds, but it's the truth. Lila wow. had a chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just gonna have to deal with it. Oh my goodness, Izzy. I'll catch you later. No problem. Okay. So do we have all the pictures? Let me just look at the list here. Leela, Megan, Izzy, Kareen, Rachel, Mel. Okay, it looks like we got everything that we need to get here. So let's go ahead and put this on the computer. Wait, there you go. And then we go to the website. Is it... Here we go, Valedictorian Race. Okay. So let's download that one. Download that one. That one, Corrine, or Corinne, Izzy, and Leela. Leela looks super scared in that picture. All right, hopefully those are good enough. I don't know how long you have to wait before you... Okay, there's no notes on them, so I hope that's good. All right, let's go and play double take and see if anything changes after that. Student life. Here we go. Okay, so what's the... Oh, we can't look at the high score table? Alright, let's just go with it and see what happens. Alright. Alright, so we got lion, pig. 
that furry thing and a spider, bat, zebra, snake, butterfly, the bird and the hanging thing, the frog and the octopus. Oh my goodness, there's ostrich, penguin, that, or the hanging thing. Where's the hanging thing? It was like around here somewhere, right? Oh, it's right here. There we go. This is not off to a good start. Um, dragonfly and a lion. There we go. Pig. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, the sh goat and the cow. Elephant and whatever that, that thingy is. Nope. It's... Where are you? You were here somewhere. There you are. Yeah, I don't think this is off to the best start. Kangaroo and cow. And then we got zebra. And I know there's a zebra up there, but I forget where, and I don't feel like looking. Uh, where's that penguin? There he is. Okay, rabbits, camel. Oh, where's the camel? Is it here? I know there's a camel around here, guys. Where is that? I know I saw him. Was he here? Oh, it was right there. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, the rabbit's definitely there. Ostrich. That was somewhere back here. There he is. Okay, and then this guy. Dragonfly. Swordfish. The kangaroo. And then the spider was... Yeah, that one. Elephants. And then we got the bird. Um, giraffe. I don't know if we've even seen a giraffe yet. Squirrel. Oh, there you go. No, come on. Don't do that. Stop. Uh, wow, those were right there. That's nice. Okay. And then a froggy. And then bats. And then this. Wow, that was not even as good as the last time. So we have to get under two minutes if we're going to get this. It was weird because, like, when I when I wasn't recording and I was originally doing this, I was getting really bad times, like two thirty and stuff. So I'm surprised that I actually got two o two on like a first attempt. All right, let's take a break from that real quick, and we're going to check out the uh, where is it? Here we go. Okay, nothing yet. Okay, all right, let's do one more take on this. We'll come back here and periodically try this because I really want to get sub two minutes on this. All right, at least I'm familiar with most of the animals here. All right, snake, dragonfly, swordfish, frog, lion, giraffe, elephant, zebra, rabbit, pig. Okay, snake. Oh wait, snake. This was a, there was a snake here, right? It was the first one. Oh, the first one. Okay, you know what? Let's let's back out. Let's start over. The other thing you could do is you could go by column, but I don't know. I'm not very good with that. Ostrich, bird. Squirrel, cow, snake, giraffe, dragonfly, elephant. Those two are the same. Nice. Okay, so this is there. Bats. What was this one? Oh, that furry thing. Kangaroo. Okay. There's an elephant here, right? There's a cow here, right? Oh, great. This is not good. There you go. Uh, I don't remember where the elephant even was anymore. Oh, hey, nighttime. All right. So it's not lights out yet. Um, oh, we get to start over. That's nice. All right, snake, that, spider, uh, butterfly, penguin. What was that? Oh, the camel, and then lion, hangy thing, cow, elephant. Wasn't there an elephant here already? I forget. Now I'm blending all, all the rounds I've played together. That's that's what's really bad about this. Giraffe, furry thing. Wait a minute. This is the same setup as before, right? Is it? Okay. There we go. Uh, ostrich, I don't think we've seen. The hanging guy. Oh, where is the hanging? There we go. Frog, I don't believe we've seen. Giraffe. Boy, this is bad. This is really bad. I. Oh, there it is, right there. Wait. There, okay. Lion. You were up there, I remember you. Cow and kangaroo. 
Wasn't there at least one of those? Here we go. We are not off to a great start. I feel like we've seen that squirrel somewhere. No, wait, that was not... That was something different, never mind. There's the ostrich. Oh, come on, where are... I don't like this. Okay. Bat, bat. Oh, nice! Two that were next to each other. That almost never happens. No. There you go. Frog, froggy was over here, right? Frog? Nope. Frog was there. Okay. Same general area, but not quite. Okay. Where's that penguin? There you are. And we are definitely not going to make two minutes on this. All right. Let's back out. All right, one more time, and if we don't get this, we'll just come back later. All right, I just want to beat Izzy at this. I, You just got to understand, it's important to me. Dragonfly, sheep, giraffe, penguin, snake, swordfish, penguin. Okay, there we go. Penguin, dragonfly. There we are, good. Bat, camel. I don't think we saw a bat here, did we? No, okay. Uh, butterfly, furry guy. Okay. Bat is somewhere here. There you go. And then the hangy guy. Wait, it was the furry guy we saw. Never mind. Spider, elephants, stripey guy, octopus, pig. Okay. Hangy guy. There's hangy guy. Okay, good. All right. The squirrel, ostrich, pig. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Wait, no. Snake. I know I saw a snake somewhere. Oh, snake, snake, it's a snake. There we go. All right. This guy was somewhere here. I know I saw him. There you are. What is that, anyway? There you are. Okay. So that means a lot of these other ones are going to be contained within here, right? Hopefully. Kangaroo, elephant, frog. No? I know I saw that guy. Okay. There we are. Swordfish. Weren't you up here somewhere? There you are. Alright, cow. Cow. Ooh, nice! Okay, the rabbit was here. Yeah, there you go. Camel frog. Where's the frog? I know I saw the frog. There he is. Alright, we're almost there. Almost there. Alright, and then lion. Lion. Yes, yes! Okay. Kangaroo was that one. Okay, let's start from here. Camel. Good, alright, so then this guy was that one. Okay, almost there, guys, almost there. Oh, boy, okay. Ah! No! We got our original time! Oh, my goodness! This game! Okay, I know I shouldn't be spending all my time on that. Let's go... Actually, first of all, we came down here to read the, the more book, now that we got the key from Kareen, right? Um, the other thing you could do is you could go onto the, um, the library catalog and you could just look up more. I actually tried looking up much first, but there was nothing there. So I was a little confused because much was capitalized in the, the little needlepoint thing. But yeah, you could look up more and see that it's in the special collections if you didn't walk over there already and see that. So that's pretty cool. The Story of Four. By Madeline Moore. There you go. What do we got here? So this is about Rita Hollowell. And apparently she saw Edgar Allan Poe in a debate against one of his critics. Interesting. Um, wow, so apparently she didn't want to go home with her family. That's pretty interesting. And, yeah... Oh, she actually spent time with, with Poe at his bedside when he was dying. Wow. Okay. So apparently this is about the cat and everything. And oh, here's a picture of the founders. Hey, wait a minute. We saw that outside, but it had a hole in it. Let's go look at that again. That looks different. We can't look at that. Oh, there's a Sylvia Plath book. I want to read that. Okay. Okay. Well, can't do anything else there. Alright. Let us go and check outside. Oh, wait. Can we? It's nighttime. 
Oh. Student Looks like the black cat stalking Izzy. Student Bod Prez just got BC'd. Alright, let's see what we got over here. This cornerstone looks different than it did in that book. <laughs> exactly. Alright, so it looks like okay, these stone things need to fill up the entire thing, not just this part. So let's figure out a way we can do that. Um Let's turn it like that. I think that'll help. Somebody seems to have tampered with this or something. Oh, wait. No, that's not going to work because that's... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. No, it has to be like this, I think. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. Yeah, that looks better. Now yeah, that's better. <laughs> I had this... I don't know if you guys remember this series, Lynx LS. It was like a golf thing. I had this, uh, this golf game called Lynx LS as a kid. And... Oh, hey. Check that out. Well, hey, little guy. What's up? What are you oh, doing? No! Hey! Come back here! Uh oh. Well, that's a problem. We must have some kind of nest up there. And we can't get up there from here. So we're going to have to go through our window, but we can't really do that. Um, or else we'll get a demerit. So what I didn't realize. Uh, oh, hey, there's a book here. Um, Alright. Uh, let me just finish the thought I had. So Lynx LS was pretty much a game that featured and promoted Arnold Palmer while he was still alive. And they actually had sound clips from him where he was saying things like, now that's better. <laughs> Which was, I don't know, for some reason I thought it just sounded funny. But uh, yeah, I thought you actually had to um, find another way into the tree. But it just turns out you have to do it over the nighttime. So yeah, it's uh, it's not that hard to to get out to the tree. Once, once you get there, though, that's actually where the challenge comes in. So, this is about her cat. First low base, then coloratura. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make a note that this thing is to be remembered. <laughs> Marginalia. Okay. So this is, a, I guess, a raven. Yeah, here you go. Or a crow. One of those two. Reconstruction of these United States will lead to an even more wondrous conclusion, but that is a subject for an altogether different classroom. Till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before on the morrow he... Oh, that's from the Raven. Um, with a celebratory dinner, an elegant nine-course meal served with perfect etiquette, I bid the last of them farewell. These look like clues to something. Years come and go, yet the past remains, a constant undimming shadow. And so I have assembled a group and charged it with, albeit unwittingly, protecting and preserving my hidden treasure. Behind the Dupin Grate, the Dupin Grate? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. The Black Woods chant shall someday reveal what history deemed lost, but only after someone's dogged curiosity and capacity for queer thought have proved that person to be worthy of the honor. I can do nothing more. Rita Hollowell. Okay, so there's a lot of cryptic stuff there. Let's close that up, though. Oh. Hello. Nancy, hi. I hadn't heard from you. And just wondered how you were doing. Oh, it's Ned. I sure am. So how's it going? Um, I wish there was an option between these two. I'm gonna go with terrible, though. Terrible. I can't figure out whether any of the girls I've met so far actually like me. And even if they do like me, no one's going to commit to being my friend until they're sure about where I fit in around here socially. They got a pecking order going, huh? And it is brutal. Like junior high on steroids. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Be myself? Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. If they get wind of that... Like I said, just lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. What about the case? <laughs> Any luck tracking down the source of those mysterious notes? 
They're being sent by someone who signs them as the Black Cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. Think someone there has a grudge against Brainy Kids? Or one of the Brainy Kids is trying to get rid of her competition. Being valedictorian is that big a deal? It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. But how smart can these kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? It's midterm study break. The kids who chose to stay at the school are cramming for tests and madly writing papers. The notes may be silly, but they're still distracting. And some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. Malicious, huh? You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? No, I'm not. Good. Although I am living on the same floor as they are. Bum bum bum. You had to throw that in, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry. Of course. So what is your plan? I'm going to search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. Right. Very, very right. careful. Um. Oh, we can talk to him about all the stuff. But yeah, junior high on steroids. Wouldn't that be high? school which this is I've met all the valedictorian candidates cool. Tell me about okay so we can go through all the kids here Kareen the girl I'm rooming with, it is Kareen okay not good exactly miss popularity what makes you say that so far I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her that's not good at this school it's a disaster keep going who else believe it or not there's a goth living in the room next to mine a goth Hey, hey, they're awesome. Hair and Meaning body the piercings, and her thank you. Family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She doesn't have a lot of friends? Doesn't seem to. Is she in the black cat? Don't know that yet. Maybe I'm a sucker for obvious suspects, but it sounds to me like you should find out. Keep going. Hey, um, hey, don't be profiling Mel. She's cool. Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Is she nice? She is to me, so far. Uh, I don't know about that. But that's because I'm still new to the pecking order. She's at the front of it? Oh, yeah. She rules the roost around here, that's for sure. But she's not without enemies. Roost rulers seldom are. Especially when they steal their classmates' boyfriend. Womp, womp, womp. Keep going. Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete, and man, is she competitive. Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. They usually involve a ball. Yep. Shouldn't she be studying like everyone else? Says she's got everything under control. Academically, at least. Socially, her roommate Izzy just stole her boyfriend. Yikes. So what's she going to do about it? Right now? Nothing. She's going to let Izzy stew for a while and worry about what she's going to do about it. It's okay. That guy was just an ox bro, anyway. This girl named Rachel asked me to help her with a school project. How'd you get out of that? I didn't. I told her I'd help her. And actually, it's a good thing. Gives me an excuse to go poking around, talking to people. So what's this Rachel person like? Well, well, no yeah. Her seems to like her very much. How come? Bad breath? B.O.? Poor taste in shoes? <laughs> She's just strange somehow. Kind of absent-minded. She scares some kids, and she seems to keep to herself. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. I just realized we have five suspects in this game compared to the normal four. Like, normally we have four suspects, so I'm glad we got another person here. All the seniors here get assigned weekly work-study jobs. Guess what mine is? Cleaning erasers. No. Collecting milk money. No. Sharpening pencils. Snack shop boss. I have to stand behind the counter in the rec room and fill kids' snack orders. If I don't do it at least once a day, I get demerits. If I fill a lot of orders in one day, I get credits. You sound excited. I am excited. I like earning credits. Yeah, credits are cool. I also like listening in on everybody's conversations while I fill their orders. That too. The notes from the black cat may have something to do with a teacher named Rita Hollowell. Literature. At least she did, about 150 years ago. Excuse me? 
She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. And you think she has something to do with notes being sent to students now? Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. That's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. You know, you're going to have to be real careful what you ask and tell people from now on. Because if someone is trying to find it, and realizes you may be trying to find it too... I'll be careful, Ned. Don't worry. Aw, Ned is so concerned for Nancy. That's adorable. That's it for now. Stay out of trouble. I'll try, but you know me. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we do know you. Um, oh, here we go. We can now go to the menu. Wow, the red just really... Ooh, messages. Hey! So I guess we did it right then if we enchanced the school website. All right, that's cool. Let's go back inside. So yeah, what is that? Th oh, wait, we didn't get it because uh, the squirrel took it. Is Izzy still around? Yeah, she's still here. Um, I think I might end the video soon. Let's just see uh, if we did everything correctly for Rachel. How about that? This door's not locked. Exactly. Rachel just said that. Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. I did. Sure did. Fab. Now I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you said that it wasn't cheating unless I just took the photos and stuff, and you would do this, right? Right? <laughs> what if I? I want to see what she, what she, uh, she says if I say this. What if I'd rather lay everything out my way? You can't. That would be cheating. Oh. It's project. It's got to be done my way. Gotcha. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong okay. place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, report back to me because I'll probably have something else for you to do. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> in case I forgot to say it before. I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Okay, so it's Don't still not cheating. It. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Aww. Right. She looked really sad when she said that. Aww. Okay, um... Oh, hey, what's this? Mel Futurism. just... Is that true, or is it just a rumor? Mel just got busted for plagiarizing artist paper. All right, let's go visit Mel and see what she has to say about this new information. I'm here. It's already open. It's not true, if that's what you want to know. Whoa, she was ready for that. So you didn't plagiarize that paper? Of course not. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote. Ever. Whoa, she pointed her bow right at us when she said that, so you know she means business. Can you prove that you didn't? I'm not allowed to try. They've locked my computer account to make sure I don't mess with anything on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? Papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on paper trail. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. We had something like that when I was in college. Is it true you recently got a second note from the black cat? Yeah, I got the first note the day after Megan left. Maybe this is the black cat's doing. If I just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't. And whoever this black cat person is knows it. Yeah. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's gonna care. But I don't deserve this, and I need help. Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. 
See if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that, please? Sure. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for paper trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Okay. Thank you, Becca. Oh man, just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, what's new with you? Oh, not much. I'll let you get back to your music. Door's always open. A squirrel stole something from me. I guess that's kind of what's new. Alright guys, so I think we're going to end the video here. Uh, and next time we're going to go down to the library here and we're going to... Wait a minute, is it right there? Yeah, it's right here. And we're going to go on to Paper Trail. We still got some time before we have to go to bed. So we'll see what we can get done. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, you know what to do. Smash that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified of the next episode. But until then, thanks again for watching and I will catch you on the flip side.